the last video we have seen about the how to uh, declaration of structures how to pass array uh, in uh, uh, how to declare a structure as an array and so on now we are going to see okay, all these things we have seen so how to access the members in a nested structures then array of structure and all in today's video we are going to see about that pass functions uh, 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 structures into functions, how to pass the structure inside functions and how to get the structure from the functions, returning uh, structure from the function. That is what we are going to see in this video. First, we will see passing structures to the functions. So for that, we have, will take a small uh, example, same whatever we have taken the previous class. Struct student consists of student uh, structure consists of rule number name branch and marks etc then we declare uh, from the in the main program we will dec declare but we are going to use functions uh, for returning the uh, structure okay and then as well as for passing so now in this we are going to see how you can pass uh, structure as an argument inside a function. Now see here, the you have to declare the prototype. So this is the function for that we have the prototype that is void display. It is returning nothing. When we say void, the function is returning nothing, but we are passing the uh, structure argument to the function as an argument. Now, so what is it? Yes, we are passing it is a, it is of type struct student. Okay, where the student we have already declared here. So you have to write the function prototype here. Then you have to write the main program. Uh, then after completing the main program, you can write your function. So this function we have uh, uh, defined here. This void display, the same thing, void display, struct student, then yes, both are same because the yes or S1, whatever we get in S1, it will be in the S also, okay? So it's only a function prototype. Then we have given a variable and these are all the, uh, this is the uh, parameter, uh, structure parameter, uh, which is of type structure. Okay, it's, it's a parameter which is of type uh, structure of student. So displaying the information. Now, whatever is stored in this structure that will be displayed. This is what you have uh, function passing structures to functions. Now we'll see the with an example. Now, uh, this is a small example, uh, the same. I'm going to exit this program. Before that, I'll explain this program. Okay, so initially we have declared include statements and all, then structure student is declared. Then here we declare the function prototype. Here we are using two functions, but I'm going to explain now this one link. We'll see this as the next part. So display function here, we are passing the uh, parameter, uh, the structure as a parameter. Okay, so for that we have written the prototype. Then from the main program, we get this value that is uh, we declare a, a structure variable. This which is of type structure student, uh, S1 which is of type this. Then S1 dot read data, this is another function which we have written where we uh, return the value, uh, return uh, structure type data, but we will see this. Okay, so in this we get the data. So this is what this, uh, I'll explain this, but before that we'll see how to return. After getting this, see here, from this, uh, this is a function, uh, another function where uh, it gets the value and assign it in a structure and return it to the main program. So here, if you see that structure student read data is a function uh, it returns of type structure student. Okay, so inside we declare a variable called S1, which is of type structure student and get the data, enter the student rule number, etc, etc. Et so everything will be in a structure format. Then we return the structure only with S1, not with all these things. So when you return this, the whole thing will be returned. Now this will be uh, received in the main program by assigning to the left-hand side a variable. Again, this is a structure variable which we have already declared here. So you have to declare a local variable here. So S1, then read data means whatever is returned because this returns a structure. So that will be 
received here and then it will be assigned to this one. So then for this S1, uh, whatever you have to say, S1 dot, for this S1 dot roll number, the data which you have received will be stored. S1 dot name, everything will be assigned in this structure. Then we pass this structure as a structure to this function that is display. Read data is one function where we uh, return a structure variable and we assign into a local variable. And this local variable, we pass it to another function where this function is not returning anything, whereas this read data is returning a structure type. So here we just whatever data we are passing here, nothing but we are passing a structure data. So here, see, here we have declared struct student s1 and here also we have declared the function prototype see the function prototype why it displays struct student if you see the function prototype of read data it is returning the structure so we have declared struct student read data okay so now we uh, here s1 is passed structure type and we display the data by calling it by accessing its member function member variables as s1 dot roll number s1 dot name etc okay so if you see this program here uh, this is only a uh, getting information okay. so here we read uh, data and then in the main program we display without using we without using the uh, display uh, function here only the passing of uh, the uh, that is returning value from the function is Define in this program the same program we have de defined with both uh, so i let me explain this again here we are declaring a structure student and then a prototype for this read data is declared check student and then here main program we declare a local variable and then s1 equal to read here we call this function read data which we have already defined it as with the function prototype. Now we have to define the whole function here. So here we have defined. So struct student D data is the same because it is returning uh, data type of structure student. So here again, we declare a local variable and then we get the input. So this read data is used for getting the input and then that value is returned to the main program. There we get it in S1. You can use S1, S2, whatever it is. Okay, so here, this is a, so using that we print the values. Now I'll show you, first I'll execute this program and we'll see how it works. Here, the, uh, all the data, are the for getting the data, we use the read data function, whereas for printing the value we use in the main program itself. See here, it displayed the value from the main program itself. Here, after getting the data, S1 dot roll number, here it prints the values. Okay. Now I'll execute this program uh, where here we are using two functions. Whereas in this previous program, I have shown only this, where it returns a structure. Whereas here we are passing arguments to the structure argument to the function. So in this program, both are combined. So here, the main, see the main program, size of the main program. It's very small. Here we get the value, uh, read the value from a function and that function returns a structure and that returns structure is passed to the another function for printing. So this is what. So I'll just show you. here this getting of information is from read data function and displaying of information is in this display function so this is how you ex you pass an argument a structure argument to a function and return a structure from a function 